Good day, everybody. Welcome to Grace Ministries USA. Today's devotional. Guys, so excited to be with you. Welcome. If we say something you like, give us a thumbs up, a subscribe, help us grow this channel, guys. Today's devotional. And because you belong to him, the power of the living, of the power of the life-giving spirit has freed you from the power of sin that leads to death. Romans chapter 8, verse 2. Who is the Holy Spirit? The Holy Spirit is God and a member of the Trinity. The Holy Spirit has a distinct personality, a will, and a purpose. And the Holy Spirit has a specific work that he wants to do in yours and mine and, and people in our communities lives. He's at work. Before we were Christians, the Holy Spirit convicted us of our sin and drew us to Christ. It's like a pull inside of you. It's this tug from birth. And once we believed in Christ, the Holy Spirit sealed us. We were connected then. Once we believed, it was game on. The Holy Spirit also will lead us, empower us, and fill us each day as we seek to live the Christian life. If we listen to that still, small voice inside, Paul wrote to the believers in Ephesus, Be filled with the Holy Spirit, singing psalms and hymns and spiritual songs among yourselves, and making music to the Lord in your hearts. This resonates with me. I play guitar. This resonates with me. Ephesians 5, 18 through 19. Being filled with the Spirit has nothing to do with our emotions. Unfortunately, some people take the work of the Spirit and make it look bizarre and weird and awkward and do kinds of, kinds of kooky, spooky stuff. <laughs> but that has nothing to do with the Holy Spirit. Being filled with the Spirit means simply letting the Holy Spirit control you. Taking control of your life. Surrendering. When we ask God to fill us, He will. We are asking Him to control our lives. In fact, the term filled that the Ephesians 5.18 uses to describe the filling of the Holy Spirit, it also carries the meaning of permeation. For example, think back in the old time, back in the day. Think back, way back before refrigerators and all that. Think of how people used salt in the first century. They didn't have refrigeration, so they had to rub the salt into the meat to permeate it. I mean, think about how insane that is, but that's what they had to do. And as a result, that would preserve it. We are so blessed and we take things for granted today. Our closest modern comparison would be beef jerky. It's, it's basically the same thing. So Paul was saying the Holy Spirit wants to permeate our lives. Not come in once a week when we feel like it. The Holy Spirit wants to be part of every aspect of our daily life. Waking up, talking to God. Going to bed, talking to God. And everything in between, praying throughout the day should be in our daily living. It isn't about trying harder. It's about realizing the Holy Spirit will give us the power we need to live this Christian life. That's why I get so fired up. That's why I make these videos. That's why I wake up at 5 a.m. and study God's Word and watch sermons and join the Bible study and linked up with the church because that pole is inside of me. I'm fired up. I can't contain it. But I need help. I need help. I need thumbs up. I need subscribes. We got to grow this channel. We have to get the word out. I'm passionate about God, and I want that for your life as well. It didn't happen by accident. I asked God, God, I pray that you change my desires. Make me new. Make me like you, Father, for your will, for your purpose, for your glory, for your grace, mercy, mission for my life. And then I surrendered. And then I got baptized. And then the transformation began. You can ask people who know me. They probably don't recognize me. 
I've always been a light wherever I've gone, but this is different. The Holy Spirit is on me. It's in me. I can feel it. Wherever I go, I can feel it. And that's my prayer for you. I pray that the Holy Spirit falls on your life in a way that ignites you to move and act. Persecution is happening to Christians everywhere. Even in the United States, we have to draw close to God and pray and worship and ask him to move on our behalf. In Jesus' mighty name, amen.